Hi, this is Tim with SmallScaleRC.com. Today we're going to take a closer look at Charisma Scale Adventures MSA-1E Small Scale RC Crawler. Now this is a 124th scale machine. I have been having a blast with it over the past few weeks. Um, it comes in two body styles, the Coyote Pup, which is a shrunk down version of their 110th scale Coyote pickup, and it also comes in a Subaru Brat body style. So if, you, if you're digging the old school Subaru Brat, they've got a really cool body uh, for that model. But under the hood and under the body, they're all the same. So we're going to take a closer look underneath and just kind of dive into these little rigs. For what they are, 124th scale, just above $100, $119, depending on where you get them from. Uh, I think you get quite a bit for, for your money. Like I said, I've been having a blast driving this. I have yet to take this outside, but I'm sure it's going to fare just as well outdoors as it does indoors. Um, this thing has driven over my go-to foam blocks. It's driven over piles of toys. It's driven over pillows. It's driven over anything, and it looks scale while doing it. So uh, it, it checks a lot of boxes for me. I'm really excited about this truck. Now, before we get under the hood, uh, what you get in the box is pretty much what you see right here. It does include a battery, and it also includes a USB battery charger. Um, the battery uses a JST connector, so if you have a charger with that type of connector, or if you have that type of connector laying around, you could charge the battery through that instead of using the USB charger. Before we dive into the truck details, let's take a quick look at the controller. Um, it is not quite full size, but it still feels good. You know, it's, it's proportional to my hand. It has just enough knobs and adjustments on there to make things interesting. Steering trim, throttle trim. Uh, you can adjust the steering range of the servo. That's that ATV. And uh, that's pretty much it. It does have a few knobs and buttons at the top. You can reverse your steering and your throttle. And then it also has three ranges of speed mode. Now that's not going to shift any gears or do anything like that. It basically cuts the amount of flow of power from the battery to the ESC. I've been keeping this on full or medium. It really can. It has a wide range of power uh, on those two settings. When I knock it all the way back down to low, it it really hampers the overall performance. If you have somebody new to the RC scene, i.e. a kid, and you really just want to get them, you know, give them baby steps and get them into it, uh, I would suggest possibly using that low setting. That said, this vehicle isn't very fast, so you could get by with, with the high setting. Now onto the fun of the truck itself. Again, this comes in two body styles. I chose the Coyote Pup. The video doesn't do this paint justice. It is just the most beautiful shade of blue that I've ever seen, uh, really on any vehicle. And I love photographing this vehicle. I love looking at it, staring at it, you know, whether I'm driving it, whether it's sitting on the shelf. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. Charisma does a tremendous job, in my opinion, of getting scale details and just little fine details in their bodies and to see this amount of detail in a 124th scale machine is very impressive now you heard that ripping sound uh, no body post or no body pins needed uh, for this they've used uh, hook and loop or velcro for the mounting so you have a front velcro strip here and then two velcro strips toward the back to hold the back down and that is what you get from the chassis of the MS a1e now the chassis itself is all nylon and it was a bit of a surprise for me to see that once i got it out of the box that said it is very very sturdy they've put enough hardware in here and made enough mounting points to where you know this is a just very solid vehicle now if this was a larger scale vehicle say one tenth one eighth scale i might be concerned with the choice of material again going with nylon versus steel that said with the scale that you have here you're not going to run into many or any performance issues uh, because of that any flex that this chassis has and again it, it has very minimal minimal flex uh, and that's with me really you know trying to torque on it a bit you're not going to get that when just driving this thing around um, 
you'll see I did make a slight adjustment up front. The steering servo sits underneath here. I did add 20 grams of weight per the suggestion of Charisma Scale Adventures brand manager, uh, Peter Gray. He uh, noticed some of the videos, the running videos I posted of this vehicle, and it it could use a little help up front. And when going up a hill, it's fine. It's just kind of getting getting up and over. It uh, could use a little bit of a boost. So add about 20 grams. You can start with 10, see how that goes, add 20. He at one point suggested 30. I think 30 might be overdoing it. But again, you've got that uh, to play around with. Simply stick that on top of the steering servo and you should be good to go. One more thing I'm going to point out real quick about the, the chassis and suspension setup is these springs are incredibly soft and you're going to see the, the chassis kind of flex and move around even when you're driving around on a flat surface. If you take a corner sharply, you're going to get some body roll and things like that. I, I've never seen that from a small scale crawler before and I like it. It, it really has an, an, an amazing amount of articulation. Uh, an amazing amount of suspension travel and once you get crawling with this thing you're really going to see how that all plays out. Mid-mounted motor has a heat sink. Um, I've not had the motor get too hot yet I, and I've driven this thing. Like I said it's been my vehicle of choice for the past two weeks. If I'm working at my desk it sits on my desk. If I need a break, if I just need to kind of bust some boredom I will power this thing on and just cruise and crawl and have a good time and I really have not had any issues with the motor whether it's overheating or anything like that so that's cool battery is going to be mounted under this tray there's a little tab you release you can get to the battery 7.2 volt nickel metal you can run a lipo you can run a 2s small 2s pack in here you'll just need to adjust the setting battery setting on the esc and there are details on how to do that in the manual Flipping it over, again, it looks like a 110 scale crawler. Taking a quick look at the ESC and receiver combo that's mounted up here. It's mounted by a piece of uh, two-sided sticky tape. There's an on-off switch. I've switched it on, so I go by power by plugging in the battery connector. This uh, plug right here runs to the motor. This plug runs to the servo. There are additional plugs on here. There's a plug for power for an FPV camera. So if you want to go FPV with this machine, you can easily do that. There's also a plug for adding LED lights. And there are LED mounting holes up here on the light bar, up here on the front bumper. So you can quickly and easily add some three millimeter uh, LEDs, make this thing even more trick, more scale, uh, and more exciting when driving. That's going to pretty much do it for this overview of this machine. I will point out just a few things that have surprised me about this truck. Um, again, the, the suspension travel is beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. If you've seen some of my previous running video for this model, you may see a little bit of body roll. Again, it's nothing to be shocked about. I just haven't seen it before on a vehicle of this uh, small scale. I will point out, too, that the tires... I was a bit worried about when seeing pictures of them. They just didn't look, they didn't look like they were going to perform very well. Well, again, don't judge a book by its cover. These tires have rocked. Every now, down the road, I will do a more in-depth comparison between this and other small-scale crawlers. I did post a really quick comparison between the Ambush 4x4 from Proline and the ECX Barrage 124 to this model. And when you look at that, it, it almost seems like the Proline has the edge. And I'll give it the edge in terms of just punchiness from, from throttle response. And the tires are slightly bigger. Proline makes amazing tires anyway, so they've applied that technology to their small-scale rig. They're a little bit taller, and they just have grip, an amazing amount of grip. And when you package that all together, you get a vehicle that can easily, you know, motor over whatever you put in front of it. Now that said, that machine uses leaf spring suspension, so it doesn't have anywhere near the amount of suspension travel or articulation as you're going to get with this vehicle. It almost looks like a brick crawling over obstacles and things like that. Now don't get me wrong, I love the Ambush 4x4, but 
Uh, the only other knock against that vehicle I, I feel is that it's a little too narrow and it causes it to kind of get off balance and tip over quite easily. Again, you kind of pair that with the spring suspension and that's what you're going to get. Now back to this rig. Um, I think that when you put this up against the ambush, in my mind, those are the two top small scale crawlers for me that I've experienced. Um, but then you start you know, applying in some of the scale look and, and feel and, and just the the attitude of the vehicle when it's crawling over things and I think you really uh, it's worth giving this vehicle a look just in when how it looks and how it performs tremendous job so sorry for getting a little bit long-winded at the end there that's my real quick overview of charisma scale adventures msa one e micro scale adventure crawler you can find more information on this model at smallscalerc.com. You can buy this model at charisma-shop.com. We'll put a link in the description below. Also have links on smallscalerc.com for this. Head to smallscalerc.com, see my first impressions right up on this model, and then look for the written review coming up soon. Till next time, thank you for watching the video. We'll talk with you later. Now, before I leave, I have to drive this thing just one more time because it's so much fun. So I've, I've last year I set up this little crawling thing. It's not really a course. It's not really I don't even know what it what to call it. But it's got a little bit of everything. It's got some some stepped wood over here. We're gonna crawl up that. Again, this is with the the power setting at high. Now I'm playing with the throttle quite a bit. All right, now to come back the other way up some loose wood and up and over good times